Now, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but this is what one night of bad sleep can do. So this study was published in the Journal of Sleep Research. Took a look at two groups. Okay, so one group, they cut down to 4.25 hours of sleep. So pretty sleep deprived for one single night. The other group, they let sleep for eight and a half hours. So very adequate sleep for one night. And then the next day, they measured their HOMA IR. So their homeostatic levels of essentially their insulin resistance. This is nuts. Their fasting HOMA IR was 16% higher in the group that was sleep deprived. So a 16% increase in insulin resistance in one night. Now, this isn't saying you're permanently doing damage, but what it is is if you know you didn't sleep good, you probably should take measures to not have these big glycemic spikes. Lower carbohydrate intake on days after you did not sleep well. The science is there. The data is there. We have to manage our glucose.